Welcome back to Wednesday's YouTube channel. So, for today, I'm going to do a thrift haul. And for those of y'all been following me on IG, y'all know that I love to thrift. Majority of my outfits, well, majority of my closet is thrifted. And a lot of people always ask me, like, hey, where do you go? How do you know what to buy when you go shopping? So, that's what today's episode is going to be about. All right, so first of all, when I go thrifting, I usually already have an idea of what I want. And even if I don't, I usually buy stuff that's trendy, that I think is cute, that's part of my style. You know, if you also want to try a new trend and you want to play it safe, I would recommend going to a thrift store because shit is super fucking cheap. So if you don't like it, um, you could resell it, you know, give it away, whatever. So we're going to start off with bags. Uh, a lot of bags as you can see and the first bag that I want to show off is this little cute This mini purse. So the mini bag the mini bag trend is also is really popping right now This mini bag was four dollars. Uh, it's super fucking cute. It's to me the color makes it seem kind of vintage It's kind of suede too. So it's super soft and look at the the inside So it opens like this has like a little accordion thing going on it opens Really cute. It looks spacious on the inside I just love that it's fucking small and that it's purple. It's such a cute color. It's nice, huh? Thank you. You always want to have a black mini. Black is very versatile. Um, this one was also four dollars. I like that. See, it's kind of a little spacious. I like the little gold handle. It makes it, it gives it a little vintage look. Black minis are honestly so cute. And then it comes with a, a little strap. So you could even make it into... You look, okay, I'm not going to untie this right now. But you could even make it into a little side purse. Super cute. The next purse that I found... This one gives me very, like, fucking early 2000s vibes. If you look at it, it kind of looks like a little toya. <laughs> looks like it has, like, a little tile, tile, towel fabric. But it's so, it's so cute. I love that it's pink. Um, this is perfect to wear with a little 2000s outfit. You know, if you wear like an all pink look, you do like a hot pink mini skirt and a baby pink shirt, then you add this for a touch. This one was $6 and I got this one at Goodwill. So it was a little bit more expensive than the other thrift store, but it's super fucking cute. And then this is my favorite one. No disrespect to my other person. So this is for sure a early 2000s. Like, this is bomb as fuck. It's Guess. Honestly, I cannot wait until I wear this purse. For, uh, for sure, for sure, for sure I need to wear this with a little 2000s inspired outfit. See you later. I got the, I got the shades going on. Look at me, I'm a bad bitch. So I have one more bag left. This one um, is, y'all may know, leopard is super in fucking trend, and I thought this is so fucking cute. This is actually the second leopard bag that I got. I bought one on Depop, but I, I found this one at Goodwill as well. It was $6, so it was a little bit more expensive than the other two, but it's so fucking cute. Look at it. You don't even have to wear this, like, even if the leopard trend goes away, like, fuck, this is cute as fuck. All right. So, last but not least, I want to talk about these shades that I bought at a thrift store. So, since I said I got these at the thrift store in Long Beach, so they're like super 2000s. You could even pair them with that pink little skirt that I told y'all about. That shit is cute as fuck. Look. Look at me. Now that we're done with our accessories, we're gonna do outfits. So I'm a sucker for black denim. Black denim is so cute, and this is actually from ASOS. So I found this shit uh, Goodwill, and it's so fucking cute. I think it was $5.49. So we're gonna try this on real quick, and I'm gonna model it for you. All right, so this is a skirt that I told y'all about. It's super fucking cute. I have to get on my tippy toes. So it's a denim skirt, like I mentioned, and it even has pockets. Which I fucking love for phones or lip gloss or whatever. So it's super cute. Like I said, it was $5.49. Let 
Like, y'all, even Tupac goes with him. Like, for JK. Nah. But I actually found, I found a turtleneck, too, that I thrifted. So I'm going to show that to y'all real quick. All right, so the next item I found was this turtleneck. Those of you that know me, I'm a sucker for turtlenecks. Like, oh God. So, I decided to pair this skirt with this turtleneck that I found. I found this one at the Long Beach thrift store. It was four bucks. Super fucking cute. See, this is already a fucking outfit. Look at this. Super cute for fall. And I know it's been cold in LA, but even if you want to wear skirts in LA, you can always do what I do. I do, I wear like medias, like those little pantyhose, and then I put on like some stockings so it could be even more warm on my legs. Right, so the next thing I want to show off is this, um, I found this leather jacket. All right, y'all. This is it. That's the back. This is the front. It's super cute. It was $20. I can't tell if it's real leather or fake. Because usually the tags say, but it just says US leather. And it actually goes with this outfit as well. I honestly think it's super fucking cute. I love the fringes. The fringes give it an old school vintage. It gives it like a little 70s look. It's honestly really pretty. You could do an all black fit like I did. Pair it with some boots some like platform boots but it's super it's super fucking cute so like i said when it comes to shopping for leather it all depends on like what kind of leather jackets you like um this is something really out of my style but i thought it was so cute i think it's worth having in your closet okay so the next thing i want to show off to y'all is this cute orange blazer that I bought so I actually do not own a lot of orange so that's the main reason why I bought it it's it's a thin material but I think it's really pretty um, it was five bucks at the Long Beach thrift store I honestly think it's cute um, if you're not a fan of orange I probably wouldn't recommend buying but I'm a blazer girl so I really liked it It does not have buttons, unfortunately, but blazers open up. If you leave them open, they do look cute. So. Alright, so the next thing I want to show y'all are these cute olive green shorts that I bought at Goodwill. So, I'm a sucker for high-waisted shorts. I fucking love them. And for those that love high-waisted shorts, too. Um, so, a tip that I want to give y'all, when y'all go thrifting, you have to kind of know your body. You kind of have to know your sizes. Um, so I know for me, I know that it's depending on some stores, my size varies and sometimes I could be an eight, sometimes I'm a 10. These are from American Apparel. So usually I'm like the biggest size, which I think there is like 31, but they, they fit me perfect. Like they're not even tight or anything. Like I could sit down with them. So for all my babes, I love high-waisted stuff. You, you have to like really study your body. So it makes it easier to go thrifting and like I feel like olive green shorts is something that everyone should own. They're so fucking cute. They go with a lot of colors. They go with black, mustard, you know, white. So that's a tip for me to y'all and that, and that tip goes as far as like skirts and high-waisted jeans too. I love high-waisted jeans and that's like the hardest thing for me to find because it's like I, you're forced to try them on which I recommend you all should try on jeans. These were $5.49. Oh, I don't think you guys can see. See, there you go. $5.49. Like I said, they're American Apparel. Cheap as fuck, huh? The next thing that I found was this really cute leopard skirt. So leopard is really in fucking trend. Um, I've seen people wear leopard in like many different things from bodysuits to dresses to shirts and then skirts. So these long skirts are real notice that they're in style. I'm going to show you all real quick. I'm going to get on my lip store. So as you can see, it's a long skirt. It has a slit, which I fucking love. I love slits. This skirt was $5.49 at Goodwill. All right, so the next thing I found were these really cute shorts from Zara. 
If anybody in that shop at Zara, y'all know that it's a little bit pricier than other fast fashion retail stores. Um, they're, it's like a skirt, squirt. So they're shorts and a skirt like put together. I thought they were really cute. I love plaid, so that's like the main reason why I bought them. And I have these little blue glasses on. Because I also found this cute guest shirt. So the shorts, I think they were $4. I bought it at Goodwill. And then I found this guest shirt. So it's for sure like early 2000s kind of look. But when you pair it with the plaid shorts, it gives it a 90s, a 90s look. So I kind of did that the other day. I was trying it on. So you pair it with some like chunky black boots. These little blue. Same look. Alright y'all, so another piece that I want to show y'all that is also thrifted. So I bought this at Depop and I already paired it with some white jeans to give it a little 2000s look. So it's super fucking cute. Look how it's open on the side. And it's the one shoulder. It has the little rhinestones. You know, that's how like, that's, this is like the epitome of the 2000s. You know, and then I paired it with these shades that I also bought at the thrift store. Got the white, the white, got the silver hoops. The barrettes, because I was also a 2000s trend. You guys noticed the barrettes came back. And then I'm pairing it with the cute pink bag that I got. Also has silver on it, so it matches all the accessories. So the next thing I found was this really cute leopard skirt from Zara. It's a tight skirt. Um, so this this is a size 10 in Zara. So like I mentioned, it depends what sizes you are in other places. It's super fucking cute. Honestly, I'm gonna get on my school so y'all can see the entire length. But see, look. It has like a little orangey undertone, and I thought it was cute. The skirt was five bucks at the long at the Long Beach thrift store that I told y'all about. I got this one at Goodwill. Kind of goes with this outfit. Kind of not. Super cute. It was $10 as well. But I mean, it's denim. I don't really mind. You could even wear it with a black mini. Pair it with a black mini purse or just a black purse in general. Super cute. Honestly. So this coat was actually really cheap. It was $6.49. And it's the Morona brand, which is um, Target. It's a size large. I'm a medium, but when it comes to coats, you want to make sure you size up sometimes because if you're wearing something under, you don't want it to be too snug. So it's a really pretty length. It's a nice color. It's like a burgundy-ish color, which is kind of versatile for the winter and fall. It's honestly really pretty. Put it over a dress, over a skirt like this one. It kind of goes with this outfit too. You really think about it. It's really pretty. So last but not least, I found some Stan Smiths at Goodwill. This is the second time I find Stan Smiths on like thrifting. The first ones I found were the ones that have red in the back. And those were brand new and I found them on Depop. These look a little bit more used. So, I found them for $10 at Goodwill. And they're fucking my size, which is fucking amazing. Because finding shoes, especially Stan Smith's at Goodwill, shit, I lucked out. They're super fucking cute. Y'all can see they're not that dirty, but they're nice. Alright, y'all, so this concludes my thrift haul i really do hope that you like everything that i found i hope you enjoy my my tips thank you so much for watching i appreciate all of you um i hope to do another video soon please stay tuned subscribe if you haven't done so please like this video if you did and if you have any comments don't forget bye